my family uh, from the Great Sandy Desert, but we are here living in Fitzroy Crossing. We're Gila people, but we have connection through the Imarawara River. River is a, yeah, is a big thing in every family life. Growing up with my uncle and aunties and family members, they used to show us survival skills and techniques to get um, Bushtaka from the river. The Fitzroy River has a song line as well, and all language groups are connected. You have to um, take that in consideration to respect it. Like the government now, they want to take the pressure Fitzroy River water for farming. I think extracting um, water from the river is going to make a big impact on the dreaming sites. They call it the Garbodo, you know, the rainbow serpent in the river. It's like ancient, you know. The river was here, you know, before, and we need to look after it. If you take out the water from the river, certain area will get dry and the beautiful Fitzroy River won't be there, you know. You go to the Murray-Darling River and all this other river in Australia, it's full of algae and all polluted now. now. We have the last river that runs. The government, they have a book and the, the pages change every day, you know, in Parliament. Our law, it doesn't change, you know, like a book. It's still on the ground. If the Fitzroy River is going to be gone, it's going to go forever, you know, and there will be no water. Stay away from the Fitzroy River. We, we want our river and we want to, you know, look after it. The government has to listen to the people and all the language groups that are connected to the Fitzroy River. Protect our dreaming and our sacred sites. Don't let the white man come.